how to invest if you're in your 20s or if you're new to investing. Today, I'll be showing you my journey, my mistakes especially, to help you become a better investor, especially if you're in your 20s, if you're new to investing. And it starts off with this. If you're new to investing, don't listen too much to market news. You know, average investors think that markets move up or move down because of news. And the only way to make money is to be ahead of the news. That is not true. When the news comes out to us, we are probably the last to know. There's so many insiders like the CEO, like the accountant, etc., etc. They knows about market news way before you and I. So the, the main thing is this. Don't listen too much to market news. Rich investors, smart investors know that markets move in cycles. And all you need to do is to prepare well for a market cycle and you'll make yourself very rich. So again, listening to news makes you feel that you're very smart. You can share a story with your friend. Listening to, to news makes you feel that you have a chance to beat the market because of information. But actually listening to news is more often than not a just a waste of time. And I'll move on to my second sharing of what you should take note of if you're a new investor or if you're investing in your 20s right now. It's about this. Don't try shorting the market. If you haven't tried shorting, forget it. Don't even bother researching it. I actually tried these when I was in my 20s and it's an absolute waste of time. Some of my worst investment mistakes come from shorting. Shorting has this risk, which is a short squeeze or, you know, uh, some, some Google it, short squeeze, short covering. You realize that because short positions are exposed to infinite amount of risk, when markets start to have any possible news of sprouting better, short, uh, short covering starts to happen and, mar and the market moves up very quickly. Some of my worst investment mistakes, some of my biggest losses was when I shorted. I actually shorted Wilma back in, our, in my school days. I remember I actually had to, to cover back my positions quickly and then they caused that position was a 20% move upwards. In your, if you are short, what that means is you are selling now, you're buying back later. In that particular day, I think I lost 20% or something like that. It was ridiculous. So short covering, short squeezing is one of the most painful and most violent market actions. If you're new to investing, don't bother, don't bother trying it because that's just a waste of your time. The third thing I'd like to suggest to you is don't use leverage. There are so many causes, so many gurus out there that teach you to use leverage to amplify your gains. But leverage is a leverage is a double-edged sword. Your gains will be amplified, your mistakes will be amplified. So think about this. If you are new to investing, you are, think about this. If you are new to cycling, for example, shouldn't you stay safe on the park? Shouldn't you stay safe and not accelerate, not cycle too quickly? before you get years and years of experience because you don't want to fall down and really kill yourself, break your arm and etc. So if you are using leverage, it's like adding a moto, it's like PMD, like you add a moto to something that you're not too familiar to control and you're just gonna go around the park way too fast. What happens next is a simple mistake is just gonna kill you. A simple mistake is just gonna injure you so badly that it really ruins you. So think about this, using leverage is unnecessary. And these three points boils down to this. What is your expectation in terms of your investment return? Leave them in the comment section below. I'll quickly find out from you as well as share them, share them openly with you know uh, more people. Because if your investment experience, from what I understand, is between eight to ten percent, you realize there's no need to take any of this excessive risk. You just need to invest prudently. You just need to invest accurately. Do your own due diligence. You can do eight to ten percent quite easily. But if your expectation is twenty percent, thirty percent, that's where you start to flirt with these kinds of crazy ideas, shorting, leveraging, listing news, trying to front line, front run the market, etc., etc. There's just going to be an absolute waste of time and going to be a dent to your journey towards your your financial freedom. So that's my quick sharing for today. Again, smash the like button below so that more can hear this message and subscribe so that you get notified whenever we release a financial video for you and join our community to become more financially savvy. With that, I'll sign off. I hope you invest safe. I hope you trade safe, whatever cases. Take care and goodbye. I'll see you in a future video.